Good morning, Patriots. Today is Tuesday, February 13th. And you're tuning in to Patriot Press News. Hello, Heritage. I'm Travis Hubbard. And I'm Andrea Gonzalez. And here are this morning's announcements. This week is Heritage Annual Kindness Week. Make a card for a friend, acquaintance, or even a stranger. Make a heart for a teacher, staff member's door, or desk. Make a point of doing something kind every day. Take pictures of kindness. For example, people helping out each other, hugs, sharing, making a card or gift, and then post it to Twitter or Instagram using the hashtag Kindness Counts 2018, and hashtag we are love. Remember Patriots, last day for early registration for the Patriot Olympics is this Friday. After that, it will be $15 and up until March 9th. The drama department is proud to announce that auditions will be held this week for the classic musical, Hello Dolly. General auditions are through Wednesday in the theater from 3.30 to 5.30. Thursday will be an obligatory dance audition. See Mr. Newman for details. FFA is here to bring you the following message. Hey FFA members, don't forget that this week is FFA week. Every day there will be a 5 to 10 minute activity at the grass area over by J103. Don't forget your ID and be here as soon as the bell rings. Thank you. Thanks FFA. Heritage High School is holding a cheer and song competition on February 17th. The event starts at 9 a.m. with doors opening at 8. Bring your student ID and get in for $5, while spectators will be $7, with children under 5 for free. Hey, Patriots! Some of you have seen our video showcasing the different electives we have on campus for you to choose for next year. But guess what? We're going to be offering a whole new pathway to choose. We made our way to our neighboring school to get information just for you. Without further ado, let's see what law enforcement classes have to offer. We are representing um, CSI and law enforcement. What interested me in the program was um, all the fun activities and different things we would do on a daily basis. We were able to do like things such as like blood splatter and crime scene investigations. What really interested me in the program was I've always been interested in the law enforcement field. I wanted to see more what they're about, what they do on a daily basis, how they handle different situations. We've learned AEDs, CPR, blood splatter, fingerprinting, I'm investigating crime scenes, evidence from different crime scenes. We've gotten through the history of law enforcement, how it's changed over time, community policing, uh, how cops change from being out on the streets to responding to calls and not patrolling. The law enforcement pathway is made up of three different classes. You have the law enforcement class talking about patrol officers, their everyday duty. You have CSI, which talks about forensics and uh, crime analyzation. And then you have criminal justice, which talks about the justice system that we have. What I want to do, which is be a CSI detective. So all the skills that we're learning in this class can help me understand better of like what I would be doing in, in the actual field. I'm in a police explorer post and this helps give me a lot of knowledge into what we might be doing there. I've already used first aid and CPR on some people that have passed out during PT, so a lot of the skills and stuff I've learned here I've been able to apply to my life already. Well, I want to be a crime scene investigator and it's helped me get well informed about what I need to know in order to pursue my future career. And it also helped me like learn new things in order to help other people in need or someone that is in danger. You're going to learn different things. People think that like cops are bad, but you understand like what happens in the mindset of a police officer. So when you think about like what would you do in a situation, what actually benefit you, and help you understand why stuff happens. This class gives you a lot of perspective on what an officer's thinking when he's doing his job. I think it's a great tool for students who don't really understand what they're doing to kind of get in their head and see what's going on. Seniors, listen up. Ms. Magna, a transitional counselor at MSJC, is excited to let you know that she will be here to help you with help you this spring 
with your transition to college. Starting this Wednesday, she will be in the center from 8.30 to 3 p.m. every Wednesday and from 8.30 to 4 p.m. on Tuesday. If you are interested, there will be sign-up sheets in the Career Center. With that, that is our announcements for today, Patriots. Have a beautiful, wonderful, fabulous, amazing day. That's too much. Never do it.